Bigger here and it's currently 7 a.m. on a Sunday and I'm trying not to keep watching Terrace House. Have you watched that show? It is so addictive. I can't stop watching it so I decided to move away from the TV and try and film something for you guys to be a bit more productive and then go back to watching Terrace House. In the meantime, let's talk comics. I've got a nice big pile here of comics that I've read in the past week or so. There's romance, there's action, there's superhero, there's something for everyone, all ages, adult, a little bit of everything. So... Let's jump right into it. The first book I wanted to talk to you about is called Bloom. It's out now from First Second Press and it's a wonderful romantic LGBTQI plus story. And it also has wonderful romantic art from my very good friend Savannah Ganeshow, who I'm so, so, so incredibly proud of. And I also think I pronounced your name wrong again. Why can I never get your name right? Remember when we filmed that video and it took us like 20 minutes for me to pronounce your name? Even though you kept saying your name, I kept saying it wrong. And this is my friend, Savvy Gana Chow. Show. Cho. Gana Chow. Show. Cho. <laughs> Gana Cho. Show. Cho. Like, you know, like you would watch a show? Cho. Okay. No, no CH. Cho. Show. Show. Yes. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah. Gana Show. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Savvy Gana Show. Yeah. Uh, I'm so incredibly proud of them and their friend Kevin Panetta for crafting such a beautiful, beautiful story all about two men, one named Ari who's worked in his family bakery his entire life. That's all he's ever known. However, his passion has kind of changed away from baking and he wants to move to the city with his band, just like every other young person. We all dream of being famous, right? So. That was his plan. However, his dad's not too happy about this because the bakery's not doing so well and he really needs him there at that particular moment. However, Ari decides to try and find a replacement and that's where he meets Hector, who's just moved to town and has such a passion for baking. It is such a joy to look at, just like when my husband bakes, he is a baker full time. It's just such a pleasant thing to watch someone bake and craft an incredible, edible item is just such a joy to watch and that's what this comic is all about tiny moments taking the time to look at intricate details of you know how phyllo pastry is made this is beautiful beautiful image of Ari's parents making phyllo pastry and it's stretched out over a table and it's just breathtaking and so Ari teaches Hector the ropes of the bakery they form a relationship feelings start to bloom get it that's just the name of the comic and then things happen you know I don't want to tell you anything else because it's gonna read the book but it's just such a wonderful book to read and it makes me so so happy that it's a gay relationship in comic book form because there are not enough representation in comic books for LGBTQI plus relationships or in media in general so it just makes me so so happy that this book is out there but also that my friend made this book I'm so so proud of you Savannah Please go out and read Bloom as soon as you can. A wonderful All Ages comic I read this week is called Hexvet and it's by Sam Davies out now from Boom Comics and it's all about witches and training. And we all know I love comics, I love shows, I love anything that's about teen witches. Ah, ah, I just love it. So this is all about Nan and Clarion who are training not only to be witches, but veterinary witches, they want to look after all the magical animals of the world. But their training is going very well, except one of them is a little bit grumpy and keeps getting stuck on reception, which is the worst job. I was a veterinary nurse for eight years and I hated being on reception, but it's just part of the job. No wonder she's grumpy anyway. So everything's going well until their boss has to go away to help with a cesarean or a birthing that's not going so well uh, of some crazy magical animal and they're left by themselves to look after the animals. And then this magical rabbit, Hibbity Hops, into the veterinary practice and has these crazy purple eyes and then all of a sudden it hypnotizes everything and that's where I'm gonna leave it okay and everything goes haywire so the training's not going so well this is the magical rabbit on the back here it's quite scary looking uh, I loved this book it was sweet it was simple and it got to the point really quickly I really enjoyed the color palette of this comic it was very unusual it was all like purples and yellows and kind of dark pinks, almost purples. Uh, I've never seen that before in a comic book. And for a kid's comic, usually parents want full colour. Like, that's the reality we're in. They don't want black and white. And strange colours kind of turns them off. So I'm hoping the parents will look past that and just enjoy the comic. It's about teen witches, magical animals. What's not to like? So you guys know I've been doing a lot of X-Men reading. It's all I want to read. I want to become fluent in X-Men, like a language 
but X-Men. I want people to come to my work and they're like, how do I get here? What is this character? Where do I start? And I can be like, wah, wah. And I tell them and they'll be like, Kaz, you're so knowledgeable in X-Men. That's so wonderful. So that's what I've been doing. And I found a book for you guys that have never read X-Men. Maybe you've watched a cartoon. Maybe you watch a movie and you want to read some X-Men and you enjoy relationships more than fighting. Okay, so there's not a big battle. It's more about the relationships between the teammates. Well, this is for you. It's called X-Men Origins by Dennis Hopeless. And let me tell you that art. Oh, girl, it's good. In this comic, you're kind of following the relationship between Angel and Jean Grey and Cyclops. They're meeting for the first time within the house and that romantic triangle, which I, I love romance comics, okay? So it's kind of like an X-Men romance book, but you're also looking at them gain their powers and learn about using their powers, and that's it. It's wonderful, it's short, it never continued, it was just this little six issue run, and so if you want something new to read, and you want to try some X-Men, this one's really easy to read, and it'll make perfect sense, trust me. Trust me, give it a go. You know what else I've been reading? Deadpool, I'm three quarters of the way through this book, so I wanted to mention it. Uh, this is Deadpool, it's called Dead Presidents, which is pretty much the entire theme of the story. It's by Jerry Duggan, Brian Posehn, yes, the comedian, who also writes comics, uh, with art by Tony Moore. Remember Tony Moore did the original run on Walking Dead when it was good? Oh, that was spicy. <laughs> anyway, so, Deadpool is all about a fellow named Deadpool, um, who is, who has moldy skin, and he is silly, and constantly makes bad puns. Is that a good explanation of Deadpool? It's really silly, like there's no substance to this book at all. This is the equivalent of a B-movie, if you will. It's just frivolous fun, it's silliness, it's shenanigans, and we're just watching Deadpool, who has been hired by the government because they don't want actual superheroes to do the dirty work because it'd be a bad thing to have. So they've hired Deadpool to fight all the dead presidents that are coming back as ghosts. So it's really fun, it's really gory. It's like intestines flying everywhere, and at one point, I kid you not, one of the presidents has jelly beans fall out of him, and then he goes, Deadpool goes, why you got jelly beans in you? And he's like, I like eating jelly beans. It's so crazy, but in a really good way. It's really fun to read and really silly, and I just really enjoyed it. And I also, because I'm from Australia, I don't know a lot about American presidents. In fact, I could have probably only named like two, and only from, you know, media. And so I learned a little bit about the presidents and, you know, and what number they were in. Uh, thanks to a comic book, which is really great. It's somewhat educational while being super gory and silly. So if you enjoy silliness and jelly beans exploding out of men, then I highly recommend it. The last comic I wanted to talk to you about is an indie comic and it's called Magpie World. And it is by Carlos X. Diaz and Guillermo Monge. This is all about Alex and Alex wants to know everything about the world. He's left his friends in the forest and keeps going from world to world to world to learn more about the world but also more about life. This is a little bit of a thought-provoking comic. There's not so much as a long narrative. It's all about the world building, the characters within it. It's nonsensical until the very, very last panel and it all makes such perfect sense. Uh, the art styling in this is absolutely stunning. It's extremely detailed, not only in the details themselves, so the tiny little bits of confetti or the tiny little flowers in the background, but the character design is so grand and each character is completely unique. Each animal in the background is completely unique, so much so that they even have a glossary at the back explaining the details of each animal. This is such a thought-provoking comic, it makes you feel something so, so heavy, and I myself am having a bit of a rough time at the moment, so on that last panel, which I don't want to wreck for you, I just ended up in tears. And that's all the comics that I've been reading in the past week or so. Let me know if you've checked out any of these guys in the comments down below, but also, what have you been reading? Tell me what to pick up next. My to read pile is insane at the moment. I'm not joking, there's like an entire shelf, and then I have a massive pile this big on the floor, and Liam has a pile this big on the floor, so, oh, I wanna add to that so, so much. I love piles of books, I just love it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today to talk comics, and I'll catch you guys again really, really soon. Bye!